Hello everyone, it is I, DD Tour, and this time I'm giving you an unboxing video. Right here I have the Street Fighter Karen Kanzuki by Shoujo figure from Kotobukiya. I got it off of Big Bad Toy Store um, just like this week. I know it came out in November for some other people, but I just got it right now. Um, I got it for $89.99 plus shipping and tax. But um, yeah, if you don't know who she is, she is my one of my favorite characters off of Street Fighter, um, a doujin character. Um, she pretty much owns half the cast of Street Fighter V, uh, figuratively and literally. Um, and she, I liked her before she was popular. Big whoop. Anyway, I finally got a figure of her to match my Sakura. So, without further ado, let's get her open. I was really excited for this one. I know I haven't posted an, an unboxing video in a long time. Uh, that's just because I haven't really found anything I wanted. There is a Bloom Into You figure that was released recently for like 250. It had Toko and You. That one didn't do so great. I, there's a lot of negative reviews on that one, so I kind of skipped out on that one. I skipped out on the Mondo Korosami figure as well. Um, I'm not really looking for much in the future. I mean, I do love by shoujos. They are of utmost quality, plus they're cheap, relatively speaking. Um, they got My Little Pony ones out. Um, I might pick that one up. There's a Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy coming out soon. Um, who knows about that? <coughs> Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy figure. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's get this open. Now, the last soccer one came with a design on the clear base that you can swap out to either be the logo or a picture of herself. So I'm hoping this one has it too. And there we go. And it does. It does have that picture on the bottom here. As you can see right there, that is the picture. Um, has a art of her, which is real cool. Let me get all this plastic off. These are pre-painted, no assembly really required. Um, unless you get one of the special ones. I know Zatanna had a wand. I lost the wand. <laughs> But she has a hot top hat too. I'm looking at some other ones. My Starfire doesn't have any accessories. Raven doesn't have any accessories. Um, I did get a Morgana one, or Morgan, uh, Morgan one from Darkstalkers. Um, I got the nurse version, the white one. And I lost the thermometer, along with like everyone else who's ever owned that figure. It's such an easy lose item. It, it's nice to have all the accessories loose like that, but it's just hard to keep track of. Anyway, back to this clear base. It has the Capcom writing logo on the bottom. You want to cover that with the art. Um, she's in an action pose, so to speak. She is doing her signature Ojo Sama laugh. And of course, there is a upskirt shot. Um, she's never been much of an upskirt character compared to Sakura, but it's part of it, I guess. I'm going to insert the art right now. So yes, I was correct. You get two. You get the Street Fighter logo and the art. Right there. Obviously, the superior one will be the art, so I will be using that. I think that goes like that. Yeah. I do hope you like watching me struggle for this long. Oh, God. All right, it just goes right in there. There's the base. When I want her standing, I want her... F she's gonna be facing you, but she's turned at an angle, so like you don't get to see her front and you don't get to see her face at the same time. So you just have to like pick one you wanna see. So I'm gonna pick... This one. Because I have the first version of Sakura where she's doing her shuriken move and not the new one that just came out where she's just doing like some pose. I'm not even sure. Um, I'm going to just pair her with that. I don't want to get that Sakura. There we go. That is going to be the Karin Kanzuki Kotobokiya figure. 
very simple, very nice, very cheap. Um, I always like car and I am looking forward to the Kotobukiya by Shoujo Poison Ivy coming out. And I do hope they make a Morgan. You can't not make a Morgan. I don't know how they made it past, what is it, seven, ten years without a Morrigan, but Kotobukiya needs to make a Morrigan. I'm looking forward to the first four figures Morrigan, and I think another company's coming out with another one. I think it's PCS Toys. It's going to be a Chun-Li with a Morrigan variant. Uh, in any case, I'm going to put it up on my shelf, and let's see how it looks. <clears throat> All right, now here they are on my dresser here. Um, seeing as how they are definitely not designed to be together, you can tell that they don't really pair that well. Sakura's facing down and Karin's looking to her left, but it's still a pretty good figure. Let me see if I can autofocus on that. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be right here next to my Akali. One of my favorites. Um, I had to move out a bootleg Katarina from League of Legends. Ugh. I don't know how I ended up with that. In any case, I hope you did enjoy this unboxing video. It was short and sweet, hopefully. Um, you should hit me up if you want to see probably not even di unboxing video content. It's mostly going to be DJing and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Please hit me up with that fat subscribe. Peace, love, unity, and respect. Thank you for watching.